Hello, my name is Becky. Welcome to the Home Center's channel. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been so busy and so many things has happened uh, since my last video when it comes to the garden. It's a new year. And so I definitely have new goals uh, for this upcoming year when it comes to the homestead. But I wanted to just update you on my first video of 2023, 2023 to show you what I've been up to in my raised bed or slash grow bag garden. So as you can tell from the title, it's we are making our enclosed garden area with raised beds. And we've been, well my husband has been busy building it for us. So I'm going to show you around what we've built so far. I think I've showed you a sneak peek of things, uh, but now it's definitely coming closer to being done, even though we still have a lot of um, building to do. I do want to make a video about my gardening plan or at least goals for this year. I am trying to do multiple things at once, which is not the best, but I just can't help it. Um, but when it comes to growing food for my family, that's still um, one of the number one things uh, that I want to focus on this year. And if you're new here, my name is Becky. I'm a registered nurse living in Central Florida. I live on four acres and I'm trying to be self-sufficient as I can. My plans for the future is to hopefully live off the land and um, become a farmer, a flower farmer. I actually have another YouTube channel uh, of my farm. I'll link that in the description box so you can follow me there when it comes to building a farm for a profit and this channel is just homesteading uh, when it comes to growing food preserving it cooking it and just trying to like I said be self-sufficient as much as we can it's February mid-February actually it's a really important day uh, of the year because this is where the majority of uh, seed starting happens when it comes to all the warm crops. Florida doesn't really have seasons So really we grow a lot of things the opposite of everybody else in the United States So a lot of the cool cool weather crops should have been started around November October ish and then Our spring is not really a spring as we go straight from cold to hot really quickly. We right now we have 40 30 degree weather sometimes at night um, we still have a chance of frost up to March 19th so from now to March 19th is four weeks so really all your seeds have to be really planted uh, this week uh, or this last couple weeks of February um, so you can put them out in time after your last frost date well mine which is March 19th so a lot of things need to be grown really quickly before all the pests and bugs get to it I mean, regardless, we're always going to have that problem here in Florida because it's so hot and humid. But the reason why we're doing this enclosed a raised bed area is to help us with that a little bit. We are going to be growing at least one fourth of an acre in front of this enclosed garden. And I'll show you that um, for the future project that we're going to be doing. But right now we're just focusing on this shaded area. So let's show you. I'm going to go ahead and show you around. All right. So this is the enclosed area. Enclosed raised bed garden that we are building right in front of our house. My husband has painted it black as we are actually going to paint our house a darker color to match but we like everything black so we have a 40, I think it's 40 um, percent shade cloth. Yeah it's 40 percent shade cloth on top and he did a lot of work to make sure the wires um, under and over the shade cloth are tightened so the shade cloth is nicely secure so right now we have the structure pretty much built we are not in the middle of trying to clean out everything this used to be a bunch of as you see grow bags this is the front I don't know I'm thinking to do like stained glass or something wood with like hand painted something like that and then a big big door here uh, we're going to be doing wood across like panels across here uh, so we're going to put maybe some paneling here and then leave this exposed maybe putting some insect netting or um, we're not sure exactly we're just leave it open for now but that's our plan to continue all around to make a perimeter so little bunnies from this forest won't or any insects or deer or whatever that we get won't affect our our garden so this is the entrance i used to have these 
um, trellises, but we took them out. Uh, we're going to do one tube of trellises here. As you see when you walk in, my husband went ahead and he put some pavers up and he doubled up these trellises. We're going to do one more trellis here in the beginning and then we're going to leave this open here so we can walk through. So as we walk through, we have a couple of things growing. We have broccoli that's been growing nicely. This is Brussels sprouts. Another Brussels sprout and another Brussels sprout. We did take out a bunch of other Brussels sprouts that were growing and we gave them to the chickens. We might just keep these, see if any Brussels sprouts start growing. As you can see here, you know, it's been growing for a while, so it's really beautiful. I mean, also I'm thinking of just chopping these off, washing them and dehydrating them, putting them into powder so I can have my own green powder, put them in smoothies and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing that. We're gonna take these out anyways and replant them in the raised beds. So this is gonna go in the middle between these two raised beds. So our plan is to continue with the raised beds across here and then obviously have one here. And we're gonna have them going vertically this way as well. So when you walk through, you just have all the raised beds this way. And we do have our bananas that have died in the frost, but they're growing back. All of them are pretty much growing back because of their pups. They all look really good. They've been growing pretty quickly. We have some irrigation for each one, so that helps. Everything that you see here is for my farm that I'm developing as well. So we're gonna be filling these up with wood chips and then all the dirt from these grow bags. Now we walk to the other side. We have all the grow bags here uh, for now, just to push them here as we're just slowly migrating the raised beds this way. For now, I do have some cauliflower, not cauliflower, I have some cabbage growing. I'll put up a picture of a cabbage I grew the other day. Um, I harvested the other day. So I'm going to harvest this one today. That one too is a little bit smaller, smaller one. And we have some dinosaur kale, bee balm. This is bee balm. This is all bee balm. And I have a lot of garlic. I planted about a hundred garlic. So hopefully we get a hundred garlic. These are calendula that I saved from the frost because a lot of them did die. That one survived and that one survived. So I'm still getting buds and flowers, so that's cool. I'm just harvest them, harvesting them as I go and then um, saving them so I can make calendula oil. These, have some, these here have some perennial flowers and a lot of carrots. We've harvested a bunch of carrots already from this bed and from our green stalks up there, but this is onions. So we have about 45 onions that I grew in this 100 gallon grow bag. So that's all we're growing for now, aside from herbs that we're growing in our green stock. Some sweet peas too that survived uh, the frost just a little bit. I might just replant these in the raised beds. I'm gonna be moving this one vertically so this used to have a bunch of bok choy in it and um, switch chard. So we're just going to keep this here, keep my little table and chairs. I actually have to go ahead and plant these in the raised beds as, raised beds as well. I'm still growing as much food as I can. A bunch of kale and um, lettuce. So I'll be, I'll be replanting these today in some raised beds. So with the structure, my husband did cement these wood holes um, into the ground and he has been securing them with some more wood and braces. Right now we have some of these zip ties, but we also are putting brackets, which I'll show a picture of the brackets now that are going to be on top. And I'm going to go ahead and start patching up pieces of exposed um, soil or ground with landscape fabric. Not sure what we're going to do with the floor yet. Um, I, I just like the landscape fabric now just because we have a really big problem with red ants. It's been cold, so we don't have that problem right now. But I know for a fact that as soon as it gets, as soon as it gets a little warmer, they're going to start coming in. 
Um, it's hard to know where the ant piles are when you have any wood chips or rocks here, but the landscape I can tell right away. Um, so we're not sure. Obviously it's Florida, so we have a bunch of sand. That's what we have. We don't have dirt, we have sand. So every time we dig up anything to put a pole, we get sand everywhere. So we're just gonna be weeding and cleaning up the garden as much as we can until we start buying little by little all the raised beds for this enclosed area. So the measurement of this whole thing is about 21 by 40 feet. So we can grow a, a good amount of food here with at least over 15, 15 to 20 raised beds. Haven't really calculated yet how many of these six by eight raised beds that we're putting in. But we can grow a good amount of food here. So our focus here is to literally just shade everything that we grow here. Tomatoes, peppers, things like that for now and then we'll slowly evolve um, every year. But the sun is super brutal here and shade cloth is, 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 you need shade cloth. Shade cloth is the number one thing you need if you're growing in Florida. So this is gonna help us extend our gardening throughout the year. Now right outside this door, it, where you see um, my lawnmower, we're gonna be growing food out here, which I've said plenty of times before it's too there I go but as soon as we get this enclosed raised bed garden done we will focus on the outside garden so our goal is to grow here in the front we do have a tarp been on the tarp's been on this grass for a while now to prep but we're going to be prepping all this area and this is not going to be shade cloth probably sometimes we'll have a uh, shade cloth Kind of like a little low tunnel um, if we need it but this is really just going to be exposed um, and we're going to grow in rows and rows and rows of food here our goal is to build the soil here with organic matter every year as we get wood chips right here to help us do that now when it comes to irrigation we're still thinking about what we're going to do as we had sprinklers coming from the top before so i don't know we're thinking about that Drip is also an option. We do have, we do collect rainwater um, from our roof. Um, so we definitely want to extend that and collect as much rainwater as we can. But for now, I think we're just going to do like probably sprinkles, sprinklers on the top um, as something easy. Cause I know drip takes a while. So, you know, we're, we're playing around with the irrigation uh, but for now we're just hand watering everything that's the plan for this enclosed raised bed garden area and of course the future one fourth of an acre um, growing in the ground every chance that we get we try to work on this it's definitely a long process as we have kids and you know life uh, you know takes place so we have gone we have come a long way from the beginning of me making this grow bag garden to now hopefully a good substantial size um, raised bed garden that has shade cloth on it so it's pretty cool to see how it looks right now compared to what was before but we're definitely going to try to film as much as we can it's hard but we know that it's cool to look back on where we were uh, for the future. So I'm definitely gonna start seed starting. I'm gonna start some seeds today. There's no really plan that I have. I'm just growing as much as I can. I can't really make a plan when I really, I mean, I can't follow through most of the time just because I'm so tired um, from, you know, traveling two hours every day for work and working nine hour days um, and doing all the things that moms do, right? So just trying my best with it all. So. If you like this content when it comes to gardening, self-sufficiency, uh, definitely stick around and hopefully we'll show you more of what we do here in Central Florida. If you haven't subscribed, please do and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay well, friends.